everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun shaker card for you today. It features, hopefully you can see those shaking around. It features the Hooray for Surprises bundle. This is the bundle I am featuring on my blog this week. I've got several projects for you if you're looking for ideas. It's a unique bundle that has um, dies that create these little uh, surprise windows. And as you can see on this one, I've created a little surprise window on the front. and I'm going to peel it off for you so that you can see the message underneath. Hope your birthday is wonderful. All right, so we're gonna do this. It's pretty pretty easy as shaker cards go. I'm also using a new in color called Summer Splash. If you love bright colors, you're gonna love our new in colors. These colors will be available on uh, May 1st. All right, let's create our shaker first. I have cut out a um, frame using my uh, radiating stitches dies. Okay, that's what this is. Um, I put the large one down and then I put the next size um, rectangle in the middle, ran it through and it created this frame. Now I'm gonna take my adhesive, let's see, I think I'll just use regular seal for this, stamp and seal, and I'm gonna run seal all around the edge like this to adhere my window, my window sheet, okay? We do sell window sheets. They are large, they come 12 by 12 pieces of acetate. And you're just gonna stick that on there and press that in. Now we're gonna stamp the sentiment right in the middle of that window. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I adhered, I glued down that window a little bit crooked so it's poking out. So let me just trim it. If that happens to you, no worries, just trim it off. All right, now we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Let's see, I don't remember which one I used. Happy birthday, okay. We're going to stamp the sentiment right in the middle of the window. Because acetate is slippery and slick, you need a different kind of ink. This is um, stays on black ink. If I can not make a huge mess with this ink pad. So we're gonna stamp it right in the middle with stays on. And stays on is gonna dry really fast. If you use your other inks, they're gonna be slippery and slick and not dry. Okay, hope your birthday is wonderful, right in the middle. Now, stays on will stain your photopolymer stamps. This doesn't bother me, but just so that you know, it will leave the uh, stamp black. There is stays on cleaner, but I don't like to use it on my photopolymers. All right, so now we've got that piece ready. We're gonna take um, adhesive, foam adhesive strips. All right, these are so great for making a shaker. Foam adhesive strips. And I'm gonna take one and line it right here, like this. And I'm gonna cut that right there. Save these shorter pieces for another project. I'm gonna take this one and push it down right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take another piece and you wanna make sure you don't leave any openings. So we've got to really bump that right up next to those. And I'm going to push that down. Uh, this one that I made earlier, it's really humid here in South Texas where I live. And the adhesive has started to peel up. The uh, I didn't stick them close enough together. So some of my little shakers are slipping out. So make sure you really push down on your adhesive and make sure that there's no nooks, no little crevices between where your little your little uh, goodies can uh, fly out, okay? All right, now I'm gonna take um, iridescent shaker circles. I'm gonna shake those down in the middle like that. Now here's the tricky part, okay? Carefully peel this off. Now if you peel it off and yank up your paper, your little shakers are gonna, your shaker circles are gonna go flying and they're gonna be sticking to your adhesive. So be really careful. Okay, now I have cut a piece of designer series paper. This is Summer Splash. It's from the uh, 2024 to 2026 in color designer series paper stack. There are eight sheets of each of the new colors. So they're great. I don't know, I think I'm gonna use the lighter side. So I'm gonna take this 
and I'm gonna stick it down right on top. And it looks like it might be a little bit bigger than my frame. And if that's the case, we'll just trim it down. There we go, look. All right, nothing is flying out. I did pretty good and it, it fits. Perfect, yay. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach this. Whoops. Boy, the, um, the humidity here in my studio is super high. If you have tips on how to reduce humidity in your house, please let me know. My studio is a standalone. It's a not attached to our house and it is way more humid than my house. And I, this is the first year I've lived here. So I'm learning <laughs> that in the spring, this area, this place gets humid. So anyhow, that's what I'm dealing with. Okay, there we go. Summer splash card base. Now let's get to the other fun interactive parts. We have, um, I've got three circles. The reason I've got, actually only need two circles. Um, one of them is gonna be a template. We're gonna cut the window out um, as a template so that we know, ex actually, you know what? We don't even need to do that. The reason I was gonna do that is so that we would know exactly where to stamp our um, our message. But I just found that it, if as long as you put it right in the middle, you're good to go. So creating a template means that you would take this circle, cut this out and punch the circle out so that then you would have a frame to where you could stamp your sentiment. But we already did that, so we don't even need to do it. All right, we're gonna stamp this heart in Summer Splash on basic white. I've put a foam mat underneath just so that I get a good image with my photopolymer. Sometimes the larger photopolymer stamps in the middle, there's a bubble. And if you put a foam mat underneath, you'll solve that problem. It only happens to me on certain workspaces. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this. You've got two different heart dies. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna center that in our circle. Okay, right there. That is a basic white stylus shape circle. And then we're gonna take our, hopefully I'm still in the screen, you guys can see me. We're gonna take our regular circle without the little notch and cut out the stamped heart. Now set this down, carefully run it through. And you'll see that this one doesn't fully cut it out. That's because it leaves the perforation so that it stays intact until your recipient can peel it off. All right, now here's this one. Now there's something else I wanna do. I'm gonna take the little zipper, that's what I'm calling it, the little zipper die, and I just wanna cut off a long, I wanna have a longer tab on this piece, so I'm just gonna take that and cut just part of it. I have another video that shows you exactly how to use that zipper die, so if you're looking for ideas on that, Make sure you click uh, back onto my YouTube channel and you'll find it. Should be right next to this one. Okay, so we're gonna cut this like that and we're gonna stamp the word pull on that tab and put it right in the middle in Summer Splash, okay? And then I'm gonna take my adhesive and we're gonna stick that right there. See how now it's just gonna stick out a little bit further and pull that out. I just like the word pull and it doesn't fit on the, the little uh, tab on the heart. So I'm just creating a larger tab for that. All right, we're gonna stick that down on top, sandwich it in, okay? Now bring over your card and I'm gonna use dimensionals, I think. No, I think we're, we'll stick with just glue. We're gonna put glue just here on the edges, just there on the edge, and we're gonna adhere that to the sides, center it over your words, like that. So we're, we've put glue on the side so it's just stuck to the frame. Now, the recipient's gonna peel that off and it's gonna be, oh my gosh, that's so cool, and that's how the card works. Now, we're not gonna do that here because we don't wanna ruin the surprise. We're gonna leave it intact. I'm gonna add a Summer Splash bow. This is new in color ribbon that I just have to tell you, it looks like it's thick, but it's not. It's very light and soft, and it ties beautifully. 
So if you are ordering in color products, make sure you get some of the ribbon too. All right, put that right there. And then we have these in color dots too. We actually have two sets of dots. These are the regular dots. And then we also have sparkly dots. So if you prefer the sparkly dots, you can grab those as well. And my take, my take your pick tool is just showing you absolutely how it doesn't work when <laughs> the putty needs to be replaced. My goodness, I've made a mess of that. I need to order putty replacement for my take your pick tool. Then it would do what I wanted it to do. All right. And there you have it. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed this card. I think everybody loves a shaker. Give it a try with the Hooray for Surprises uh, card. Now, make sure that you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There's a free PDF and two other Hooray for Surprises projects. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye-bye.